This is a demonstration of using the Automation Success Platform together with Generative AI to extract structured, semi-structured, and unstructured documents. In this particular example, we are processing a mortgage package from a customer. When we process a package, we first use RPA bots to retrieve the entire package from an input folder. Then a classification capability separates the document into its components, an ID card, a bank statement, a pay slip, and a loan application form. All these documents have been found, and we can view them as they have been separated through our classifier. After classification, we proceed to extraction, where different documents are sent to different extraction engines. The bank statement is unstructured, so it is sent to generative AI. The ID card is semi-structured, so we send it to our own document automation solution. We can also use third-party solutions if necessary. All this extracted data comes together in the automation co-pilot where the user can review it. Data matching is performed and a validation percentage is displayed in co-pilot. In this particular case, the data from these different systems from the different documents does not match. There is a discrepancy and this is highlighted in co-pilot. Because there is a human in the loop, the user can review the documents that have issues and easily click a button to send an email notification back to the customer. Here, generative AI is used to create the email message telling the customer that there are discrepancies in the information submitted. Now let's look at another scenario. In this case, the user wants to process another mortgage package. As before, using our classifier technology, the documents are classified and separated for the user to verify. In this case, all the documents have been found. There is the bank statement, the pay slip, the loan application form, and the ID card. When we proceed to extraction, the different extraction engines again perform the extraction. However, in this case, the validation across the different documents is very high. But there are some minor discrepancies, such as a slight variation in the customer address. This is not a serious issue. The user then clicks the button to send the email to the customer, and Generative AI creates a congratulatory message, indicating that the loan has been approved. Now let's look at a third case, where the user selects another package. In this case, one of the documents is missing. The loan application form is missing. The user clicks the radio button and verifies that the document is not available. When the user wants to send an email to the customer, Generative AI is used again. It creates the email, knows the customer name, understands which document is missing, and generates a very specific custom email for this particular situation in which the loan application form could not be located. This is a highly automated solution, which demonstrates that we can use document automation to process structured and semi-structured documents. Use generative AI to understand complex unstructured documents. And finally, use Automation Copilot to review all this information and provide a seamless experience to the end user.